51. Calculate the number of moles and the, the mass of the solute in each of the following solutions. And then we have letter D out of the bunch. So in this case, we have 325 mils, right? And this is of a 1.8 times 10 to the negative 6 molar uh, iron 2 sulfate solution, FeSO4. And this is the minimum concentration of iron sulfate detectable by tasting and drinking water. What a fun fact. Always wanted to know that. Anyway, <laughs> let's just do the math. So in this case, we want to find out the moles and the mass, right? They gave us a volume, right? Milliliters is a volume. And they gave us a molarity. Capital M is a molarity, okay, guys? So there's a relationship between a volume, a molarity, and moles. And I wrote it in a nice little uh, triangle right here. Now, when you write this down, yours doesn't have to be as pretty as this, right? It doesn't have to be colorful, but the idea has to get across, right? You need to draw a triangle, and there needs to be a T in the middle, and then you have your three units. For this triangle to work, the units have to be in the locations that they are here, guys, okay? So just remember molarity here, moles up top, and then liters on the bottom. Okay, let's see if we know already some things. Well... They gave us 1.8 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity, so I know this box. However, they gave me 325 milliliters. In order to check off this box, I need to have it in liters. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to convert the 325 milliliters into liters. Now, quick trick right down here. Just know that if you're starting off with mils and you want to go to liters, all you got to do is just divide by a thousand. Sorry if my dog is barking. He's just saying hi. <laughs> At who? We never know. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to take this amount and we're just going to divide by a thousand. You could either take do that or place the decimal and move the decimal over three spots to the left. Either way, you'll get the same answer. So 325 divided by 1,000, and this would be 0 0.325, and now that's in units. So 325 mils is equivalent to 0.325 liters, and now we have this. Now we have two out of the three units, and I can solve for moles, right? And that's what one of the questions was asking for. We want to find out the moles. But now how do we make a formula from this, right? Well, you hover over your thumb or your or any one of your fingers over the one that you want to solve for. So in this case, I'm going to write down moles equal, and I'm going to hover over this, right? If you hover over this, it shouldn't be there anymore, right? You're covering it. And now we just look at what's left. Well, it's a molarity, and it's a liter. They're on the same tier, right? One's not on top of the other. So since these two boxes are... are basically like meshing with each other, this signifies times. So this uh, formula would be molarity times a liter. Okay, now we have the formula. We just have to plug in our numbers. So we have moles equal the molarity, which they gave us, 1.8 times 10 to the negative 6, and then the liters, which was 0 0.325. Now, you can keep this as molarity, or you can keep this as a liter, right? It, it doesn't matter. Sometimes I don't like to put in the units, but I know what unit I'll get at the end. I'm searching for moles. So here we go. We got 1.8 times 10 to the negative 6 times 0.325. The lowest is two sig figs here, so I'm just going to keep with that. So my answer is 5.9 times 10 to the negative 7th. And that's the moles of my solute. In this case, they said it was FeSO4. So, we got one question down. Now, we just have to turn this quantity, right, the moles, into the mass. Now, remember, a mass is just grams, right? So, how do we go from a moles to grams, guys, right? Another quick trick down at the bottom here. If you have a mole of anything, right, compound or element, you could find the corresponding grams, and that's what we want, by going this way, right, moles to grams. 
So all you got to do is just take your mole value and times it by the molecular weight, aka molar mass or molecular mass, right, whatever. Same thing. This you just find on the periodic table. So we've done tons of problems like that before, guys, right, where we find out the molecular weight, right? So this is, this is nothing new. We go to that periodic table. We get the masses, right? I have one iron, I got one sulfur, and I got four oxygens. So let's just see. I'm going to get the exact number. You guys can round if you want to. Uh, but just make sure that, you know, the answers are roughly the same. So let's see. We got iron, 55.85 on mine. We got one sulfur, and then we got four oxygens. So my molecular mass, or my molecular weight, is 151.91, and that's grams per mole. The unit of a, of a molar mass or a molecular weight is always grams per mole. So now, what did we say, guys? We take the moles, we times by the molar mass to get the grams. So 5.7 times 10 to the negative 7th, times, that's the moles, times the molecular weight, uh, 151.91, and that will get us the grams, right? If we keep the units, this is a unit of moles, times gram per mole, and look what happens to the mole units, right? They cancel. Mole on the top, mole on the bottom, and now we're just left with the unit of grams. So that's why this multiplication works nicely. So now let's just do it. I'm just going to times this by 5.9, uh, times 10 to the negative seventh. And I'm going to keep with two sig figs here. So I get a number of 9.0 times 10 to the negative fifth. And that's grams of FeSO4. And that's it, guys. Look at that. So we have our mole value on the the bottom, right? And we just found out the grams. And that's it. I hope this helped. Hopefully my dog wasn't annoying you too much, but he's just saying, you know, how great this channel is, and he, ke he keeps still saying it. I know. I know, Tyrion. I know this channel is great. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I did name my dog Tyrion after Game of Thrones. Uh, put it down in the comments if you love that TV show, too. Anywho, um, I hope this helped. All right? Love you guys so much. You guys rock. Hope you're having a great day. Just keep studying hard. I'll be with you every step of the way. And I will see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.